in a 2-0 situation being really important. I mean, Ruff coming in here sort of, to, as you said, to stop the bleeding. He can either make this 2-1 in favor of check, slick, check six, or he can make it all, an almost insurmountable lead 3-0 for sleep. So Ruff really has to uh, do his best here to take a game off the strong Zerg player we, we, we've been seeing in the last few games. And we do have uh, on MLG Zelnaga Caverns, VVV Ruff spawning as the blue Terran player in the southwest corner. And in the northeast, his opponent, the winner of the first two games of Wednesday Night Starcraft, check six is sleep. Yeah, and we'll see whether or not Sleep has done his research on Ruff. Ruff is one of those players who, even though he plays Terran, he plays Terran uh, rather differently. Um, you know, he, he opens up with these really strange builds that, you know, are easily overcomable if you know what's going to happen. But most players don't expect a 5 Rax Reaper Rush transitioning into 5 Marauders, into mass battle cruisers. So we'll, we'll see what strategy will be used on here. Ruff choosing Zelnaga Caverns, and we may see a bit of, of early marine pressure. And I'm wondering if this is going to be a throwback to his old style and, and how much success or luck he will have on it. I mean, typically his uh, quote-unquote standard TVZ is to add uh, four or five racks, send streams and streams of marines across the field to do as much damage as possible catch the uh, the zerg player unawares and perhaps win right there if that doesn't work he's added gas behind that and now he's adding uh five tech labs onto those racks and he'll come out with the reapers like you mentioned speed reapers in fact and then he sort of expands after that he doesn't actually expand all that early we see a lot of terran players in tvz try to get on that second base very quickly sometimes getting a third command center very quickly in base but uh rough classic rough starting out two racks here so we'll see how many more he adds yeah, and this is going to be really strange as the SCV now going back once again against the drone. The drone does have natural regeneration, so the drone could actually win out on this fight. A marine will be added, and now I don't see any additional refineries, so this may be a triple racks or even uh, a quad racks at this stage, and there is that third barracks. I think rough space cruel thumb is produce marines at all times. Anytime I have 150 extra minerals, just make another barracks. Yeah, I think that is a pretty safe build order um, that he's trying to go for right now. You can see that the hatchery is being added. We are going into extractor pool, or it looks like pool extractor. There's going to be a little bit of delay on the metabolic boost as we are now going to get into three marines. And now I believe Ruff is going to wait for the magic six. As soon as he does have six marines, he's going to move out. Six marines is enough to one-shot a zergling. And that should be enough as there are currently... Oh, the drone going to try to make its way up. The drone sees two barracks and thinks, okay, I can handle a two barracks rush. Um, little does he know that it is going to be right now up to a four racks rush. And we'll see when and if he does go for those two additional refineries. The other thing we really need to mention, especially with the styles here, is that if these players have met on the ladder, there's an excellent chance that Sleep has played Ruff a few times and sort of knows this style. Ruff, uh, even though he is sort of a non-standard cheesy type player, he actually has standard cheeses or, or normal cheeses that he does. So if uh, Sleep has actually faced this before, he might have a better idea of what's coming. Like you said, he did see the two racks, but he's got to know that there's probably a third, fourth, maybe even a fifth behind it. Now we see the gas is added for Ruff, so we'll see if he does that transition into Reapers. Yeah, right now Ruff is up on food. Sleep um, uncharacteristically supply blocked at 28 over 28, yeah. and and that may end up hurting him. So he was floating a little bit of minerals now, getting up a spine crawler. We'll see what's going to happen of that. Zergin's now going to make their way across, perhaps intercept some of the Marines as they come in, and that's going to be some free picking for Sleep if he does intercept these marines and that's going to be bad news as the marines now need to figure out what to ha what's going to happen here the marines trying to regroup together and perhaps all the units will simply march up as we now see more and more zergings and this is a great play by sleep trying yeah. to um, make sure and delay all of these marines as they're coming out as he does know that there are heavy heavy um, marine pressure and now we are going into mass or going into banelings as sleep sees a heavy in investment and goes you know what i know how to counter this many marines 
Sleep, just a great play there. Like you said, he really delayed this push. That's going to allow the speed to finish. And speed is so important against those kiting Marines. Marines against slow Lings are just going to kite all day and really, really be cost efficient. But these Lings are going to be able to great, get a great surround here. Here's the big surround, and we'll see who wins out, Marines or Lings. I have a feeling it's going to be the Zerg player. Sleep right now just crushing that attack. Yeah, and now the Marines have to run all the way back home, hearing that how all of their brothers had died in that battle. And now Ruff is going to transition into Reapers. You do see that the factory is being built, and is it going to be successful? And I do like how this front door is established. You can see that Ruff has put in a lot of thought in this build, knowing that he is vulnerable to a Baneling bust. But because of the double supply depots and the tech labs and where everything is positioned, he knows that... Um, he's not going to be that vulnerable as we now go into trip or quad reapers with nitro packs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that despite his wall off, if a baneling bus happened, Ruff would probably lose right here. But instead, Sleep is just going to take his early uh, his early win there, so to speak, and just macro up behind it. He knows that Ruff not going to be on two bases anytime soon. Sleep does have just a ton of links here that aren't going to be very good at all. They're, he needs to start taking down destructible rocks and really doing some uh, quote-unquote damage, but not really damage with those links because right now they're just a waste. But he is uh, doing uh, a lot of droning right now. Another six on the way. He's about to be at 37 versus 27, and he already has his second base established. Rough just now about halfway done his command center. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. And I would I would like to see if whether or not an engineering bay with weapons upgrade would help out these Reapers. Reapers would then be able to two-shot drones. But then again, perhaps an additional, you know, additional two Reapers would be better than natural upgraded as the Reapers are really going to be focusing down. But an Overlord now making its way in. It spots the Reapers. The Reapers need to position themselves and move away. Marines, the Reapers are trying to hide. And the Marines are going to get over there in time in order to destroy this Overlord. But the Overlord may have spotted those reapers as we are now going into another round of reapers it is going to be 12 reapers now as baneling movement speed now underway yeah i checked the vision of sleep there i do not believe he saw the reapers he did see all those tech labs and that typically means that there's going to be uh marauders coming a lot of terran players using those early marauders to counter the uh, the static defenses of zerg so uh he's just going to make a ton of lings to basically uh, try to take down all the Marauders and Ling's not so hot against Reapers. And we do see those Reapers making a quick stop at the gold and that's gonna clear the way for Ruff to take a very early gold. Yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen here. The banding movement speed not yet done. The Reapers are just gonna be able to run around and we'll see what's gonna happen as the Reapers are jumping up and down cliffs, taking down Zerglings, able to take down a lot of units and there's also a factory up here on the high ground. The Bandings are not gonna be able to do that much damage and don't find their targets. Mass Reapers just absolutely destroying this now drones trying to run away as drone after drone getting destroyed and reapers are dealing their necessary damage perhaps taking down the banelings nest or perhaps even taking down the layer as that damage would be detrimental yeah if he's able to take down the bailing nest and the uh the spawning pool it's gonna be gg perhaps for the zerg player and it looks like those are both gonna go down very quickly the bailing nest goes down right before speed finishes and sleep is in so much trouble right now basically any sort of follow-up here even if rough doesn't kill him any sort of follow-up is just gonna destroy sleep yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. The Zergings are now... Baneling's able to jump down. Are the Baneling's going to be able to get away? Or the Zergings going to be able to get away? That... No, it looks like the... We do have the... A unit's trying to run away. A Baneling's going to be able to splash that and simply destroy all of those Zergling... Or the Reapers there. Good gosh, getting my names confused. As it is now 38 to 36, we do have a Planetary Fortress at the gold. So that is going to be difficult to destroy. And... Uh, rough going WTF... Yeah, it looks like uh, Sleep does have a Spire, and he's got 10 Mutas on the way. So if there's not a lot of Marines out, I'm not sure Ruff's actually going to be able to handle this. Just four Marines at the moment. He doesn't have an Engineering Bay. He doesn't have... Oh, he does, but he doesn't have any sort of... Uh any sort of turrets to fight against these mutas. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. This is going to be very, very bad here. The engagement, Banelings uh, being very smart, deciding to pull back. Missile turrets need to be added. It looks like Ruff adding one missile turret, perhaps two or three would be better at the Planetary Fortress as the Marauders are now uh, able to finish off the units. The mutas are going to be, you know what? I don't care about uh, you, Marauders. I'm going to move across the field. 
And I think Ruff is just trying to buy time for missile turrets. I don't know if Sleep... No, Sleep does not know about the Planetary Fortress. And that Planetary Fortress is going to actually just cause lots of problems as Ruff may have the income advantage. Yeah, but Sleep is going to be right in the production of Ruff, so I'm not sure he's actually going to be able to come out with enough Marines. Yeah, I think that Sleep is just going to, if he wants, take down all these barracks. Yeah, if, I think he's just going to have easy time with all of these barracks now. Marines are going to try to be added. Missile turrets are just going to be slowly added here as you now see a command center absorbing damage. And this is what Ruff wants. He wants to buy time. He knows that he had, he dealt a lot of damage. The command center um, will get taken out. I would assume that he would rather not lose it. But he is buying himself time to set up more missile turrets and he knows that he can... Or he does have the economic advantage on two bases as this gold mineral is still not scouted out. Yeah, if I was asleep, I would have just stayed right over top of those racks. And every time a Marine popped out, just focus it down. I think he probably could have won right there. And now he does see this gold is up. He sees all those missile turrets and the fact that it's a planetary fortress. It's going to be so hard to take on. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to take on. Banelings oh, are going to perhaps try to do a Baneling bust onto this. No siege tanks to protect it. And that's exactly what he needs to do here. Baneling bust into all of these SCVs. The, then the Mutalist should be able to finish it off as we are now going into a third base. And finally, the floating factory has been destroyed. Yeah, typically I don't like trading a ton of gas for just a planetary fortress, but in this situation, this planetary is so important. Look at all these SCVs. If he just makes about 20 banelings or so uh, and takes down all the SCVs as well as the planetary, I think he could very easily put an end to this because Ruff has added all this production back in his main, but if he doesn't have that gold base, he cannot afford it. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen now. The uh, the Banelings, the Mutalists are going to come in from the far side. Mutalists going to take down. Are they going to go after the Planetary? And what happened? Yeah, it looks like the Banelings were never able to make a decent uh, splash there. The Planetary was able to focus them down. And basically two shots, two rounds of shots from the Planetary took down all those Banelings. They did open the way a little bit for these Mutas since they were able to take down a few missile turrets. But I believe that Ruff is going to add more and more missile turrets as... Uh, the SCV is actually all repairing themselves on auto repair, but uh, Sleep did not do any crucial damage there. Really needed to make, again, about 10 more Banelings, go right at that planetary, and then just pick off all those, uh, those SCVs, and he would have won quite easily. Yeah, I, I think the problem was that Ruff... Um, there, actually, there were no Zerglings in that group, so the Banelings all just detonated by themselves. Uh, you can now see Ruff adding some additional supply depots around here, also repairing the Planetary Fortress as the Mutalists unable to or unsure of where exactly they can go. Level 1 weapons upgrade, and now a Mutalist is going to be able to take down one missile turret, one easy d tower there. Perhaps getting auto-sec tracking would be beneficial at this point as the Mutalists are going to be able to just continue to dance. There is one burrowed Baneling at the Natural Expansion, and unfortunately for Ruff, he is going to strip mine this Planetary Fortress rather quickly. Yeah, I love the use of Burrow here by Sleep. In all these games, he's burrowing those uh, those Lings right at the expansions. He's forcing scans, forcing armies to kill those uh, those Lings. And now it looks like the uh, the Mutas of Sleep actually going to be focusing down the engineering bays. And that's pretty huge because, again, the Marine Count getting sort of up there by Ruff. He will be able to take on these Mutas head, uh, head on. But if uh, Ruff is not able to make any missile turrets to guard back at home, it could be really problematic. But what is this? It looks like Ruff is going to be doing a counterattack. It is going to be spotted. It's now going to make their way off to the north. There are Banelings lying in wait. They are going to be pulling back here. No siege tanks to premature or to detonate them beforehand. But some Banelings do go down. We'll see what's going to happen. The Marauders going in first. The Marines behind there. And now what's going to engage here is the Marauders doing a little bit of a wall. Marines are overstimming just a bit as the Mutalists do come in together. Finally, the Marauders and the Marine. There's the engagement. And it looks like Sleep will be able to handle this with a 50 food advantage. Yeah, I think Sleep's mute account, he didn't even really need to use those. Instead, he came in with the Banelings and the Zerglings, cleaned up that really low Marine count. Like you said, they were overstimmed down into the orange and not a lot of medevacs to support that. So Sleep about almost double food right now, 73 to 134. Could maybe take the gold base and really uh, you know, max out in a minute or two. But we see a drop coming in for Ruff, and it looks like the Mutas are going to clean that up. So Ruff not having a great time right now. He has established his natural. He's got a few missile turrets in the natural as well. But this Muta count getting really scary at 21 for sleep. 
Yeah, the Mutal is now once again rushing in. Missile Marines trying to shoot him down. It looks like the weapons... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, the weapons upgrade has been stopped since the armory has gone down. So only one or one zero upgrades on the Marines and the Marauders. Meanwhile, the Mutalists are two zero upgraded. And right now, Sleep is just taking such a strong lead now as he's just able to be everywhere. Mass Mutalists, and I think he's pretty much reached critical mass knowing that he can be everywhere on this map. Zelnaga Caverns does have a lot of cliffs allowing these mutilists to deal a lot of damage and jump or just simply fly around and not allow those marines to catch up and chase. Yeah, this is exactly what Sleep should have been doing from the start. With that low marine count, you just start picking off barracks and picking off marines as they pop out. These 20 mutas can definitely take on that pack of marines, especially as they focus down the medevac so quickly. Right now, there are only 10 marines on the field compared to 20 mutas, so if they tangle anywhere with those mutas, they're all going down quickly. Then the mutas just going to make their way in on those racks, and you're not going to be able to counter these mutas unless you can get out a Thor or two. Yeah, and right now, Ruff is feeling the heartache of a gold mineral patch the gold minerals are nearly mined out he cannot lift off that planetary fortress as now we see a whole bunch of bandings rolling down only the 68. field only 68 only 68 yeah that uh that's one for basically every unit that rough has at the moment all right so 60 yeah so one banding per you can see the supply of bandings coming in from the far side as well this natural expansion is going to get completely overrun bandings melting marines running <laughs> But that's going to be GG. Yeah, and he's, uh, yep, Ruff just leaves the game there. And uh, he was not very successful with his uh, his early pressure there with Marines. That was caught by uh, Sleep pretty easily. And then his transition to Reapers actually did a lot of damage. I thought that Sleep was in trouble, but he did have a Spire on the way. And the Spire and sort of replacing that spawning pool quickly enough. And the fact that he was able to catch those Reapers. Those Reapers were not able to take down a lot of drones at the natural. Once he's got out those Mutas, just a very low Marine count for Ruff. Sort of uh, with a style like that, he's not really covering all of his bases, being safe against many things. So once Mutas pop out, it was uh, basically GG from there. It took another 10 minutes though.